Welcome to the Hashtag Speakeasy Podcast. Getting paid to hit the stage with your host, award-winning speaker and author, Altaviz Pelzer. Hey, 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 Speakeasy Podcast listeners. I know it's been a bun- it's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you without a note beat the step two. I know. It's been a minute since I have done a live episode, but I had to come and have this discussion with the Speakeasy Podcast listeners. First and foremost, shout out to those of you who are listening in from around the world. We got Russia tuning in, India tuning in. I appreciate the love, the feedback, the downloads. I see you guys all over the world. And guys, That is why we continue to push forward. Shout out to you. We have been nominated as Radio Personality of the Year. Yes. Your host, Altavis Pelzer, the voice coach, your voice manager. I unmute the voice of women who are ready to speak up about what has kept her silent for way too long. So let's dive right into this topic. Three sides of a coin. In this particular topic is one of motivation i'm going to i'm going to tell you why as in as a, as a introvert first and foremost i found myself um thinking that i wasn't good enough and a lot of people have dealt with this same mindset uh we come in and we think everything has to be either heads or tails and we never really look at the fact that the there is a rim on the coin that everybody's been flipping and although the coin doesn't often land on the rim of it there are some significant things that happen when it does guess what when the coin lands on the rim of the coin there's movement Ooh, you better catch that. When the coin lands on the rim of the coin, there is movement. And it is either, you know, it 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 has to be stopped or it goes to a place where it is untouchable. Oh, I know, I know. That just shifted somebody's mindset right there. Because what we fail to realize is that we don't have to look like anybody else, sound like anyone else. No matter what industry you're in, you can come in and hit the ground and run. You can hit the ground and move and continue to move until you are stopped because you have to stop or until you become untouchable. And when we think about what it means to become untouchable, we look at the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We look at the Dr. Maya Angelou. We look at, you know, the Cicely Tyson. We look at these pioneers in different industries that kept rolling until they got to a point of being untouchable. Not untouchable meaning no one can reach their level, but untouchable to the point where they weren't worried about it. Oh, I know, I know. I told you this was going to be a fab episode. Make sure that you share this one out. Make sure that you download it and save it because you're going to want to hear it a few more times. So when it comes to making that distinction, that decision that I'm no longer just going to be the status quo, I'm no longer just going to be the coach. I'm no longer, and even when I think about that, you know, oh, you hear so many people talking about being a life coach. I'm a life coach. But what part of life are you coaching in? You know, this is, when we think about the rim, there's a detail when we think about the rim of a coin, it has detail to it. There's the lines into the coin. It's raised. It's there's. It's raised up slightly. So we think about you. If you're the rim of the coin, there is some detail to you that makes you rise above. That puts you on a different level. And. When we make that distinction, I'm no longer playing by the same rules that everybody else is playing by. So when it's heads or tails, when it falls, somebody can grab it in their hand and put it on their hand and it can show heads or tails. You can't do the same things with the rim of the coin. I can't catch the coin and put it on my hand and it be the rim of the coin. It can only be heads or tails. 
can I explain this a little simpler? Some of you have gotten comfortable in living in a world where it's either heads or tails. And it can be because of the education you have. It can be because of the upbringing you have. It can even be because of your own personal biases. But there has been a a, a shift where people have literally thought it can only be heads or it can be tails. And that's not the case because it can be the rim. But if it's the rim of the coin, it does not fit the status quo. And this particular topic is becoming more and more prevalent in how I see things because as a parent, as a woman, as a woman in business, as a mentor, as an accountability partner, I see all of these different things and I've always approached things differently and it has set me apart. And so recently I received a um, a package in the mail and I, you know, I'm expecting everybody loves mail. Let's just be honest, y'all. Come on, come through. Everybody loves mail. I know you do. So, I, but I received this package in the mail and it came from California. And man, it just brought me so much joy when I, I saw it. Because it was a newspaper. And I was like, Hmm, what is what's going on here? It's a newspaper from California. Now I know people in California. I know people pretty much all around the world at this point. But it was from one of the women that I had worked with a few years ago. And uh shout out to her, uh Dr. Landry, who is out in California. She actually um does a lot of work with the homeless that are out on Skid Row and all throughout the California area, different areas in California. And this mag- this newspaper had her picture in it and two of her books. Now, I won't tell you how old Dr. Landry is, but let me tell you, she, she, she has wisdom, she is wise. But she is moving and grooving and she has not stopped even throughout the pandemic, which is significant. And, you know, she sent me a message and the message, it just warmed my heart simply because, again, this is where we are when we think about being the rim of the coin it's not just about the heads or the tails and she said I I told her how proud of her that I was because of what she's doing and you know one of the things she said You started this. And it it just warmed my heart because, you know, I don't often share the things that I'm doing. I don't often share, um, you know, what, like what I do with my clients. I don't, I don't even often share the feedback that I get from clients. And part of that is, you know, personally, I don't, um, I never want to brag. I never want to be that person that's so boastful and, oh yeah, and I show, I did this for this person and I did that. And I think your actions speak louder than words. And so I always allow my actions to speak and what I do for clients and what I do for the women that I come in connection with. And so Dr. G. Landry, the homeless care advocate. And so it's voices, the voices of the homeless volume one and it's poetry. And then the other book is Why Kill Us? Poetry from their spirits, Dr. G. Landry. 
and you can purchase your copy at Amazon, Malik's Bookstore, Baldwin Hills, Crenshaw Mall. Here's where it's not the heads or the tails. Here's where it's the rim. Proceeds from both books assist people living on the streets in various com communities. Right? So not doing it to get a rise out of people. Not doing it to to be seen. But doing it to be able to go and support those in need. That's the rim of the coin. Every person that she helps, every person that she gives a, a bag to, every person that she goes and supports. Like, I look at that and I say, wow, that's powerful. I love being able to support what she is doing. And when she sent it to me, I, I sent her that message. And then she sent me the information because I told her I wanted to feature it on my blog and she said, I'm so happy you got the paper. Wanted you to know that you started all of this. And I'm so very proud of how it has taken off. When I started my business in 2015, 2014, 2015, I had no idea what the heck I was doing, y'all. I knew I wanted to make an impact, but at that time I was doing Avon. I was doing, listen, Avon. Uh, I did Herbalife. I did some other stuff, guys. It was it was horrible. And as an introvert, I don't know what the heck I was thinking. But then when I made that shift in 2016, there was a lot more that happened than me just saying, I'm going to write this first book. I made a commitment that I was going to empower women to become unmuted. And at the time, I didn't even realize that that was the full on impact of what it would be. But when we unmute the voice of one person, in turn, it will be a ripple effect and continue to unmute the voices of others. And so in helping her and unmute her, Dr. G. Landry, it led to the voice of the homeless being unmuted. That is being the rim of the coin. I had people who ridiculed me for the things that I was doing. I had people who ridiculed me for um, my podcast because I don't charge people for the podcast. I had people rip me a new one because they said, oh, I should be doing this and I should be doing that. And ultimately, I found myself in a position where every time that I wanted to either be heads or tails, it just kept come, falling on the rim, y'all. Every time I wanted to just be heads or tails, I wanted to either be, you know, do all of this and, and be this mogul and just sell to people or do this. And, and I, I had those moments. And I can honestly say that I've had the six-figure strategy. I've had the seven-figure strategy. I've had the courses to teach me how to, make a million dollars on Facebook ads, like all types of stuff, guys. And I, I've I've seen some of it, some of it I bypassed and I just said, you know, it, it just wasn't for me. But I, I've always been in a position to connect with the women who needed me specifically. That's the edge of the rim. When we say things are 50-50 and it's either heads or tails, Sometimes the people that we're supposed to be working with, supporting, the ones that we attract are not on the heads or tails side. Sometimes they're the ones that are the rim. And when we put our effort into supporting the rim, again, there is movement. I've watched this woman go and support the homeless all throughout the pandemic. 
I've watched this woman go. We've been, even through my company, World Voice League, we've been able to support and and help in, in small ways. And I've watched her do some phenomenal things. And she continues to get up and do it, guys. That's edge of the rim. And when I think about the three sides of the coin, it would be easy to just say I'm going to donate and, you know, send send help. It's easy to talk about what needs to be done, but the edge of the rim are the ones that do it. It's easy to say that we want to support. It's easy to say that we want to encourage and educate, but it's different being the edge of the rim. When you make a decision to be the edge of the rim, there's some ridicule that comes with that. There is some hardship. You are overlooked at times, and I've seen throughout this process where she's been overlooked at times. I personally know within my own journey moments where I've been overlooked, where people have uh, said they wanted to utilize my services, and then they're like, oh, well, I guess they thought that they were going to get things for free, or they thought that they were going to um, get one level of support and coaching and that wasn't what I was about and so for them it didn't pan out the way that they thought it was so they just did not want my services after that and I was okay because knowing that you are the rim and I'm not heads or tails I'm not all free and and I'm not going to charge you out the yin yang either but but I bring value I bring value and even when I think about Dr. G Landry and what she is doing over in California man so many people miss um things because they think they have to be in the spotlight to get things done and you don't it's consistency it's the consistency and so recently she did um, a day of love and laughter back in February of 2021 which was another event that she was doing. And I just I again I it's interesting because there are some people that they just they just don't get it because they only see the heads or tails. And granted, no tea no shade. If that's who you are, if that's where you need to be, by all means, heads or tails. But I'm speaking directly to the few who said I want to be significant in changing lives. Are you ready to be the rim of the coin? Are you ready to be the third side of the coin? Stay tuned. Connect with me over on Instagram at Altavis Unmuted. Let me know. Uh, in a review for this particular episode of, you know, if the, you understand what I mean when I say the rim of the coin and the three sides of the coin. And trust me, there are more interpretations of this, which you'll hear more about because there is a book coming, I'm just saying. There are some other things coming down the pipeline when it comes to three sides of a coin. But I had to get this piece out because, again, I'm so humbled by what I've seen women do when they have the right support, when they have the right leadership, when they have the right push and drive. Man, I've seen women do some phenomenal things, and many of them never fit into being the heads or the tails. 
but they fit perfectly in being the rim. And so they are the ones that are pulling things together. Sometimes they were the ones that were overlooked. Sometimes they were the ones um, that were counted out. And guess what? If that is you, you have support. You have a community waiting for you. Let's connect at Altavis Unmuted. Leave me a review. Let me know how this episode resonated with you. Because guess what? There's something significant that you can do in the world. And it's only when you own your position and what it is you want to do that you can really go all in on making it happen. With that being said, this is Al Tavis. I am your host of the hashtag Speak Easy podcast. Again, shout out. We are, I just was nominated as Radio Personality of the Year. Super excited about that. Make sure that you go to my Instagram at Altavis Unmuted. You can vote. The link is in my bio. Or you can go at Altavis Unmuted on Facebook and the link is in the bio there as well. I'm excited, guys. Let's get it started. Let's go. Guess what? You are phenomenal. And it's time for you to become unmuted. Make it an unmuted day.